what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video here on madden 23 we're so close to the nfl regular season we're continuing with these madden 23 rebuilds and today we're going to be doing a tampa bay buccaneers rebuild on madden 23 before we get into today's video make sure you guys drop a like on this one subscribe if you're new to the channel and keep commenting down below the next team you guys want to see me do a video on so today we got the buccaneers on tap that was the most voted team it felt like in the last video not a ton of votes but uh the you know someone said buccaneers had three likes so i was like all right let's do the tampa bay buccaneers so if we take a look at the buccaneers roster the biggest thing i think for this rebuild is we got to find tom brady's successor once he's gone because they might only play out this year and then once he's gone uh we're gonna have to figure out who's gonna be the quarterback after he is gone so that is something we're gonna have to focus on but as you know, this Buccaneers roster is very, very talented. It is a very talented lineup. And I'm pretty sure uh, most of this roster definitely has some injury concerns. Like, I think Ryan Jensen's hurt in real life, but we're not going to worry about that today. And then Chris Godwin is not going to be ready right away. They grabbed Julio Jones, of course, as well. They have Russell Gage. So a lot of good things in the Buccaneers roster. We haven't even talked about the defense. You got Devin White, Levante David, Shaquille Barrett. They just cut Logan Ryan yesterday, but I'm not sure if he's coming back or not. Jamel Dean. Uh, Carlton Davis, Sean Murphy, Bunting, Akeem Hicks, Vita Vea, William Golston. Like, there's a lot of things to be excited about. Then Troy, Tryon Choryanka, Antoine Winfield, Mike Edwards. Like, this team is loaded with talent, as we know. So, I'm not going to change the offensive scheme or the defensive scheme, but I am going to change the offensive scheme because it looks like we could probably be much better somewhere else. So, I'm going to change it to that 74% vertical power run. This is going to be Tom Brady's last season. So, hopefully, this season can go well for us and we have a good year. Our tight end position could use some work. And then, of course, like I said, Drafting a quarterback or signing a quarterback in the offseason is probably going to be number one priority once Tom Brady is gone. But let's just go ahead and see if we can win a Super Bowl year number one in Tom Brady's probably last season of playing football. So at the end of the season, we ended up finishing 7-10. and 10. I thought for sure this team was a lock to make the playoffs in this game no matter what. But no, that is not the case. So offensively, Tom Brady looks like he led the way. Offense was ninth in the NFL. Was defense that bad? I'm wow defense was 29 the NFL I'm very shocked to see that 42 and 17 from Tom Brady defense just had a very very unfortunate year Leonard Fournette 11 touchdowns a thousand yards with Chris Godwin great year I mean everyone had a fantastic year Julio but we went seven and ten it did not make the playoffs I don't know if Tom Brady automatically retires in this game or not I mean if he doesn't maybe we resign him for another year we'll see he just had a fantastic year but that puts us out of the playoffs discussion so we are not in the playoffs Instead, we got to go the offseason to figure out why the defense did so bad. I feel like that was a fluke simulation almost. That's where I'm kind of coming to. The Chiefs and the Cowboys uh, go to the Super Bowl, and the Chiefs beat them by one point. But, man, am I excited for regular season football? Bills versus Ram next Thursday is going to be freaking awesome. But to the resigning stage we go, I have no idea what to expect. Like, is Tom Brady gone here? I don't know. I'm going to have to see. So, players ready to negotiate. We got 20, and that is going to be uh, Tom Brady is not gone. His resigning interest is very slim. Uh, Levante Davis, free agent. Akeem Hicks, Julio Jones, free agent. Jamal Dean, Logan Ryan, Sean Murphy Bunting. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of free agents I, I want to bring back. Like Jamel Dean on top of the list there. Levante David, I mean, I wouldn't mind him back as well. I do want Jamel Dean back, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and give Jamel Dean a contract offer. I for sure want him back. So he is back. So Jamel Dean had interest in coming back as well. Bonte David has no interest. Logan Ryan has no interest. And I think I do want Sean Murphy Bunting back as well. Keep my cornerback depth as much as possible. He is back. We'll have him back and welcome him back. And then what else we got? Logan Ryan, Mike Edwards, and Keanu Neal. I think I want to keep one of them or both of them, honestly. And I'm looking to probably keep both of them to keep my second. Well, we have Antoine Winfield, so I don't think we need both of them. So if I can get Mike Edwards back, I'm cool with that. We can move Antoine Winfield maybe to strong safety or whatever. So Keanu Neal um i don't think i'll worry about it. i think we need to save our last 10 million that we have for something else i don't think that gives me enough money to re-sign tom brady might not even give me enough money to re-sign levante david so we're going to be losing tom brady and levante david in free agency so that is a very unfortunate ending to tom brady and the bucks but after going seven and ten i feel like we need to go a different direction not that it was tom brady's fault i think it was a fluke simulation that our defense was so bad but it is what it is we have to kind of work with it so team salaries wise I was seeing if there's anybody that I could cut to free up some money, like anybody on this roster, like Godwin, big at 16 million. I'm not going to cut him though. Donovan Smith making 15 million at 77 overall. I think that immediately becomes the guy I cut here. I'm going to go ahead and release Donovan Smith. That frees up a ton of money. So we'll definitely do that to start things off. And then what else we got? Savings. Mike Evans, I'm not going to cut him. Shaquille Barrett, no. Jack Mason, he's got one year left in his contract, but I think we should keep him around. Ryan Jensen, same thing. So. 
I think we freed who we needed to get rid of and then Russell Gage. So I think we're good. I want to have Russell Gage actually play this year a little bit more. Julio definitely took over that role for him. So we have $25 million in cow space. Right now, our quarterback position is non-existent. So we're either drafting one or we are signing one, which if we sign one, then we're focusing on everything else in the draft. But if we're uh, drafting one, we're focusing on everything in free agency. So definitely need a left tackle and I definitely need a tight end for free agency. I like my weapons. Mike Evans and Godwin's are great. Defensively, on the other hand, uh, we need to move Winfield or Mike Edwards to strong safety, which uh, I'll probably end up moving. And then as far as we got Logan Hall, who I believe is a young player they drafted. So I kind of like him. We need a middle linebacker. It looks like pretty badly. So we'll definitely be looking for a middle linebacker. But let's go ahead and move. Actually, let's move Winfield to strong safety. I'm going to move Antoine Winfield to strong safety. And that'll be my safety core. And then we're going to need a middle linebacker, possibly an edge as well. Like there's definitely some things we're going to need. So if we sign a quarterback at free agency, that's probably going to be all my money. And I imagine there's not that many quarterbacks here anyway. So Winfield's going to play strong safety for us. And Mike Edwards is back, which is great. So that is all taken care of. So I like that a lot. Uh, but as far as edge, yeah, not a ton here. So we got Shaquille Barrett and Troy Shayanka, which if I'm saying that name correctly, which I'm probably not, but not a ton of money to work with. So let's see what we should be spending this on. So I know we need a left tackle. Uh, we definitely need a little bit of ends. So definitely some things we need to find. So Josh Allen... Uh, actually has interest in playing with me. I like the idea of Josh Allen in Tampa Bay. We got Elton Jenkins as well, which I do need to tackle pretty badly. But if I can go cheaper and Dawson Knox, we do need a tight end. So Donovan Smith, is there any cheaper tackles than what is available to me? I could always just draft one as well. That's always an option. So Nate Davis is here. And then you have Jenkins. You have Conklin. So Conklin could be a little bit cheaper at 29 years old uh, if we don't want to go for the home run hitter and Jenkins but right now he has no other offers so we might be able to get him for a discount potentially and the quarterbacks we have Tom Brady Baker Mayfield Jimmy so I think we're drafting a quarterback I mean we did end up finishing low in the standings, so maybe drafting a QB is the best thing for us so I kind of like the idea of Josh Allen even though we don't need a linebacker I think we definitely have to have interest in Dawson Knox our tight end position right now is literally non-existent so I'm gonna give Dawson Knox an offer and then far as uh what we need on the defense middle linebackers we definitely needed one Tremaine Edmonds has no interest in me Jalen Brown has no interest so none of these guys really have interest in playing for me Chris Barnes at 25 years old he actually would probably be relatively cheap so I'll go ahead and give him an offer as well uh, he could be a decent guy to step up into that middle linebacker void we have right now and then the other thing was some ends. so let's go see if we have any good ends to throw in here so Davion Clowney could be a nice uh get D Ford Larry and Joby, uh, uh, Ashawn Robinson, Chris Wormley. So there are definitely some good, decent options here. So I kind of like the idea of Larry and Joby. And you have Yannick, Marcus Davenport, Akeem Hicks. We could bring him back, of course. And you got like Bryce Huff out here at 25, who has a little bit of interest in me. So I'm going to go ahead and offer Bryce Huff an offer as well. These are going to be very cheap offers. And then my last offer is probably going to be on a tackle. So I know Jenkins is out here, but getting him is probably going to be Honestly, we might have to draft our offensive line unless if we were able to get Jenkins for like a discount, but I highly doubt it. Or you can move Nate Davis there, but he has offers already. So probably not gonna be able to get a tackle unless, yeah, I think we're not gonna be able to get a tackle. So right now, this is what our offers are on. We have three active negotiations. It's gonna be on uh, targeted. There we go. Dawson Knox, we got Chris Barnes and Bryce Huff. So let's see if we get all three of them. That'd be fantastic if we do. Chris Barnes does not accept, and Bryce Huff does not accept either. We did get Dawson Knox, which is a huge get at our tight end spot because we did not have any tight ends. Uh, as far as upping my offer on Chris Barnes and Bryce Huff, I would love to do so because I would love both of those guys to add to the defense. So I'll go ahead and offer a little bit more on Chris Barnes. Hopefully that gets me in the running, and that does. And then Bryce Huff, if we can go ahead and maybe snag him a little bit more, that'd be fantastic. So let's see if that is the case. Uh, number one offer on i don't think we're going to be able to get bryce huff so i'm going to just hope we get chris barnes and we get chris barnes and dawson knox so we have three million dollars left to spend if there's any other ends out here that might be gettable i guess we can go for like clowny has two offers not a ton of money to work with larry and joby i guess could be a nice addition potentially so let's see if we have enough for him and that is going to be the number one offer larry and joby and he is going to accept so we get a few guys in free agency, and I think the rest is going to have to be through the draft. So our quarterback is going to be addressed in the draft. So hopefully we have a high enough draft pick to get, or maybe we should trade up right now. Maybe that's something we need to do. Maybe we need to trade up and draft CJ Stroud or Bryce Young. One of those two needs to be our new quarterback, unless if this puts us high enough 
in the draft, which I don't think it would for us to get one of those QBs. I know there's some other quarterbacks that we have in this draft, but I know those two are the best. We have pick 11. So if I wanted to move up to like three, would that even be possible at this point? Let's see. So at pick three, I'd have to probably trade my first next year. You have pick seven. I'm going to try to move up to get one of those QBs, I think. Pick four from the Falcons. They just drafted Desmond Ritter. I don't know if they're like high on Desmond Ritter or not. But if I traded my second and my first this year, would this move me up? It does. Okay, so I keep my first next year. We move up to pick four. And now we can go ahead and try to draft our quarterback, which I'm excited about. So let's get into the draft and let's see if we can go ahead and get what we want. So Seattle's got number one. They're probably going to be taking a QB, I imagine. Jalen Carter goes number three to the Texans as they have Davis Mills, which means I have the option of Bryce Young, which is who I'm going to be taking here. Adding him to the roster, I feel great about. So Bryce Young, welcome to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We definitely could use your services right now. He's going to be the new quarterback for this Buccaneers roster going forward. So now we can go to pick number 11 in second round. And offensive line is immediately what I'm thinking of, of what we need. So I'm going to try to get an offensive lineman here get a tackle or a guard i mean even a guard would be fine so andrew for he's getting a left guard we definitely need a guard as well he's got a awareness a he looks good i'm gonna take andrew for he's here he has normal development which is really unfortunate but i'm still happy with the selection he should still be an upgrade of what we have over what we have right now and then round three pick 11 either we're taking a tackle here or we're taking an end so we got tyreek stevenson we got tj bass we got sean we got Sean Tucker, Robert Scott Jr. out of Florida State. Do we take Robert Scott Jr. and hope he's good enough? Because TJ Bass is here as well. But I'm going to look at Robert Scott. He's got decent stats, actually. We're going to take Robert Scott, and we're going to hope he's the Donovan Smith replacement we're looking for. Another normal development offensive lineman, but kind of had to hope and bank on him being decent. So next to round five, I think I'm going to go end here in round five, and that is going to be our draft. So... Hopefully with maybe being younger at the quarterback spot. And then I don't I don't know why the defense was so bad last year, like I said. But hopefully that changes. And if Tyler Davis is still here, Rashad Torrance, a lot of good options here. We also got uh oh Mathis out of Nebraska. Let's see how good he is. He's got I mean this is a fifth round pick, so you can't really expect too much. But I'll go ahead and take Mathis here. And I'll be happy with that. But we also have uh Logan Hall, so that's just gonna be depth at the end so i'm happy with the draft i mean we got a lot of normal developments over hidden developments which sucks but pretty happy with the offseason overall with the small amount of money that we did have as we are already a pretty good team in general okay so this is what the roster is looking like so andrew Voorhees was also 73 overall so i'm just gonna go ahead and start him robert scott 72 overall so not too bad the offensive line is not looking too shabby at all uh we have chris godwin russell gage mike evans tyler johnson i believe was actually cut yesterday but that's okay we got Leonard fournette we got a young Milton down here as well. Bryce Young, Dawson Knox. Defensively, on the other hand, we grabbed Chris Barnes. We have Logan Hall. We have Larry and Joby. So we did the best we could to keep the defense as much as possible. So I want to go ahead and see if there's a way to make my offense and my defense just much better. My defense was so bad last year. So it looks like it'd be a 70% fit there. And then I'm, I would assume base 3-4 is the best defense we can run. It just was so bad last year. I'm not sure why. Uh, so I'm going to run base 3-4 still and hope that last year was just a fluke because I really like what we have here on this team in order to make this work. So hopefully that is the case. We're going to simulate season number two. This year should be a playoff team, hopefully. If not, I mean, it's all going to depend on how good Bryce Young is immediately as well. But he's got all the talent in the world to be successful. So I'm definitely thinking he's going to be pretty good. So we'll see what happens. And hopefully this year... We make the playoffs so while we do get one more win than last year we still have not made the playoffs with the buccaneers in this video which is just really disappointing to be honest with you i'm not sure what's going on but we got to look at the stats and see so bryce young actually had a really good rookie year i saw offense was 10th in the nfl which i expect this offense is good defensively 15th in the nfl so it was better than last year 30 and 15 from bryce young he is superstar development which is fantastic so we got ourselves our franchise quarterback which is great i'm happy with that but we have not made the playoffs which is not where we want to be so definitely sucks to see this team continue to struggle to miss the postseason but uh it's gonna be interesting to see how this offseason is gonna go for us i'm not really sure what to expect we're gonna have some resignings to do and hopefully maybe we have a lot of cap space to open up i have no idea but man, oh man, is it very disappointing to not be the playoffs year after year so far. So at the negotiation stage, like always to start the offseason, I know we're going to have a handful of free agents to worry about. So Tristan Wirfs, immediately Mike Evans, Antoine Winfield, like a lot of these guys are going to be very, very important. Actually, four of them are super important. So 
let's go ahead and start off with Tristan Wirfs. 100% want him back. It's going to probably take all my money to resign these guys. So I don't even think we'll be making uh, that many additions here. Mike Evans has interest in coming back. Mike Evans is a longtime buck. I would love to see him stick around. He is back. Antoine Winfield, same thing. I definitely would love to have him back as well. It's going to be all my cap space going to these guys. And then Devin White, 100% want Devin White back. Shaq Mason, I'd rather get Devin White back than Shaq Mason, honestly. But if I can get them both, I'm down. Let's see. I don't even have enough money to offer Devin White a contract, which is really disappointing. So uh, I'm going to have to go. What is it? I don't know. I can't even offer him a contract at all. So I'm going to have to franchise tag. I'm going to be over the cap space because I do not want to lose Devin White whatsoever. So that is what we're going to have to do. So let's go ahead and make this cheap offer and then franchise tag Devin White. And we're going to have no money. So I'm going to make this offer. He's not interested, obviously. And we're going to franchise tag Devin White. He is going to be back in the Buccaneers. That puts us in a negative cap space. And the roster is not going to be changing much this offseason at all. So pretty much we're keeping everybody besides Shaq Mason. So the guard that we draft is going to have to step up. So yeah, it's definitely going to be uh, a void we're going to have to fill. But for the most part, this team should still be in the running to be a good team. I mean, we have both the guards here that are both solid. So offensive line definitely got worse with Shaq Mason gone, but we keep all of our weapons and Mike Evans, Bryce Young, superstar development. So yes, the offensive line has gotten worse, but we're going to have to just rely on it. And defensively, we got Devin White, Chris Barnes. Uh, so we definitely are going to head to the draft now because we're not going to be, do, be able to do anything in free agency. And we're just going to have to hope, like I said, we get some good uh, additions in the draft. Hopefully we hit a little bit better in the draft. But we're not going to have our second round picks. We are going to have our first round pick. It's going to be middle of the pack again. We missed the playoffs once again. So hopefully this year we hit on our draft picks and we just make the playoffs, man. That's all it takes. Once we're in the playoffs, I feel like we're a contender, but we have not been there yet. And it's been super disappointing. So heading into the draft, let's see what we can get on draft night. Maybe even some offensive linemen wouldn't hurt either. So at pick number 13, I definitely know I want an edge for sure. I want an end, whatever you want to call it in this scheme. I want... I got a wide receiver here. I got a tight end, which I don't want either. Danny Ayers is the first end on the board out of Louisville. He's got A tackle, A block, shedding B power moves. Hoping he's a good and he's in development. So happy to have him here. So that was going to be my first round pick. So happy to have Danny Ayers joining here in Tampa. So next to round three, pick number 13. Uh, not a whole lot we can do. So hopefully this is a good addition as well. Hidden development, whatever we can find. Zach Daniels, a lot of wide receivers on the board. We got a linebacker. We got a free safety. Uh, so as far as linebackers concerned, we don't need a linebacker. Jamal Malone. Do we take a uh, strong safety here? Do we take a safety? I don't know. Or do we just kind of, I don't, I'm just, uh, let's see. Let's see. Kurt, Curtis Colbert. I mean, yeah, I don't think what whatever I get here is not going to be all that good anyway. So maybe I just take the wide receiver, one of the playmaking wide receivers here and hope they're good enough. We'll see. Uh, he looks terrible. Zach Daniels looks terrible. I don't even know what to take here. Maybe I trade this pick. I don't think I can trade this pick. Actually, if the trade fighter allows me to trade this pick, I'm trading it. So let me pause the draft. Let me go into trading this potential, uh, trading this pick potentially. I don't know what this is going to look like once I try to offer this pick up because we have negative $10 million in cash space, but maybe this is a cheesy way you can make a trade when you don't have money. I don't know. So there are no trades in this package yet figured so no offers for this third round pick so honestly man don't even know what i want i'm just gonna skip past this pick i don't really see anything i really want so hopefully this team after adding that end which is all we really did so i'm not gonna really show you the team i was gonna go straight into next year because we didn't change at all other than losing for some offensive linemen and stuff so third year is the charm hopefully we make the playoffs this year guarantee it hopefully anyway so to end off the season, we beat the Commanders 56-28, to and we went 13-4. and So we finally, finally got to the damn postseason. Super ecstatic about that. Got a couple guys to upgrade or a few guys to upgrade here. So finally made the damn playoffs. Super happy about that. Let's go take a look at the stats and see if both sides of the ball were great. Offense was 14th in the NFL, which is cool to see. Not too bad. Defense was 31st. Defense has been so bad in this video. 51 and 4 out of Bryce Young. Wow. 89 overall. So obviously, as you can tell, who is carrying this team to the promised land is definitely this offense. Defense has just been not good at all. So receiving wise, Chris Godwin, Russell Gage, Knox, Mike Evans had a down year. Godwin had 22 touchdowns, 51 and 4 out of Bryce Young. Absolutely amazing. 14 for Shaquille Barrett, 9.5 from Joe. And then six interceptions from Sean Murphy Bunting, five from Devin White. So this is probably our last year because we have like no cap space 
and we were barely able to keep our team as it is so if we can't win this year i don't imagine we have any shot but guess what we get the cowboys in round one so you know what that means probably gonna lose because the cowboys are overpowering this game but we'll see what happens at raymond jean stadium for this game going against the dallas cowboys i mean can my defense gets to stop is the questions we're down seven to zero as bryce young throws an interception but he goes and gets a field goal for us okay can you go up 10 to 7 here nope another field goal okay defense actually getting stops and we take the lead but the cowboys take it right back 7 14 to 16 a touchdown here would be awesome can we go get one get a fumble recovery it's 14 to 23 21 23 okay uh we get an interception not good come on and we take a five point lead they take it back gonna need you to score here it is 30 to 26 with a minute and 49 left on the clock so you guys already know i'm gonna come out here and try to lead this team on a clutch drive will we get it though is the question i don't know if we should trust my you know i don't know if i should trust myself but you know what we're gonna try to make it happen here we're gonna have to hope for the best so i'm gonna give this to mike evans and the fact that he almost came down with it is actually crazy that was kind of a sketchy throw your boy is known for throwing sketchy passes though so don't be too surprised now as far as what i have on the field right now i have chris godwin maybe for a nope i gotta throw this away that is uh getting sacked i'm getting sacked Demarcus lawrence sacks being third and 20. okay i mean we're going for it no matter what so i mean at this point i might have russell gage wide open for a first down here low key russell gage is not there it's fourth and 20. okay this is getting sketchy 100 i gonna need a first down on fourth and 20. Do I get it though? I don't know. I feel like I got to just throw Mike Evans on a go route and throw it up to him, man. I mean, I feel like that's my best chance right now. So Mike Evans, I'm going to need you to come down with this in double coverage. And that is a flag. That is exactly what I needed. He did not even get a chance to go up for it. Pass interference. Let's go. I got bailed out and I will take it. We're going to get a absolute freaking bailout, bail out there. And that is fine. I needed that very badly. So let me get uh, an actual good drive going here. Now that I've gotten bailed out here, let me. Oh my goodness, dude. I do not deserve to be throwing this football. Should I just run it? Should I just run the football? Because I'm just throwing the sketchiest of passes, but I'm just believe I'm just believing in Mike Evans, man. I mean, like what does a man to do? Mike Evans is going to come down with it. I'm going to give it to X. I'm going to throw it to Russell Gage. And that is that another flag? Or is that on me this time? Pass interference. If that's defensive pass interference, that is like just another bailout. And that is on them. Okay. I don't know how, but you know what? I'm not complaining. You know I'm not complaining. So I'm going to actually run the football because I actually want to take some time off this clock because I do not believe in my defense. So let me go down to the five-yard line. That's going to take us down to about 40 seconds left. I don't want to go too crazy here, but I definitely want to take some time off the clock. That way, there's not as much time left for the Dallas Cowboys. And that is just going to be kind of putting us back in the same spot. I do need a first down. And I'm going to call my first time out. Uh, third and one, 27 seconds left. I'm going to go QB sneak. And then I'm going to drain the clock a little bit. And I think that will be it. So QB run. I'm going to go QB sneak here to get the first down, hopefully, on third and one. I hope this works out for me. I don't know if it will. Let's see. And I think I got it. No, it's fourth and inches. That's fantastic. Okay. So I did not get the first down. Do I just run the same play? I think I do. I think I'm just going to run the same play. So hopefully this works out for me. Maybe this is even a touchdown on top of things. And that is a touchdown on QB sneak. So 14 seconds left. Can my defense stop the Cowboys in 14 seconds? And they do. And that is interception. And that was going to be a game. So we beat the Cowboys and we're on to the NFC championship. Honestly, I got bailed out twice with those pass interference calls. But you know what? that's okay so now we get to play the seattle seahawks who went 13 and 4 i'm very curious to see who their quarterback is honestly because i don't know how they're this good already as we know the seahawks are probably gonna be pretty bad in real life but uh we're down three to zero down 10 to zero so i'm assuming they signed somebody very good and now they're just ready to wreck uh you know come back and be good again so 10 to 7 is 13 to 7 we can take the lead here but we do not okay Okay, we're still in the game. We can take the lead here, and we do. 14 to 13. 21 14, they take it back. All right, it's 20, 28 to 14. Not looking good. All right, 21 28. If we get a stop, we get a chance. Okay, that's all I needed. So I'm actually curious to see who is starting at quarterback for them, but we'll find out after because I might even lose this game. Because me making a comeback, you guys know, is kind of sketchy. So 
Let's see if I can get it done, though. You never really know. Sometimes I make good things happen. So I'm just going to go to Leonard Fournette here and get a nice gain. We got plenty of time right now, so I'm not going to force anything. We moved those chains, which is exactly what we needed, as we know. So now we can go to play action, maybe throw them off a little bit. I might have B wide open for a nice gain here. So I'm going to go to Russell Gage, and that's going to be out of bounds. Stoppage of the clock. Uh, do I check and see who their quarterback is? I definitely do. I got to see who's starting at quarterback for the Seahawks right now. And that is going to be will levi's or levis whoever that is so maybe he's a stud maybe i should start drafting him because right now they're 13 and a four they're leading us here if i do by the way get the touchdown i low-key might go for two i might who knows just kind of you know figures what i'm thinking right now so mike evans how did he not catch that he had great position on that i thought for sure that was a guaranteed catch i had no problem throwing that he had great position on that but he not get it it's okay though so i get dawson knox for a nice gain i'll take it and that is going to be barely anything. So 39, only gained a yard on that. We're going to need a first down here. So hopefully we can get uh, Knox downfield open. Curse Godwin should give me the first down, hopefully. I think that's a first down, but the line is disappeared right now. That is a first down. 47 seconds left. I should probably start calling my timeouts just because like, I ain't trying to have like all the time off the clock. The 28 to 21. Let's go to four verts again. You no know, low key kind of all reliable here mike evans is a one-on-one -on -one coverage man like i just see that and it makes me want to throw it to him but it looks like the safety is going to go to it we're going to get a first down with Knox, move the chain so i like the position he had on his guy there so safety went towards mike evans which makes sense we're going to take Knox in the middle call our second timeout to start being more a little bit conservative with our timeouts if mike evans is once again one-on-one -on -one, i feel like i gotta throw it to him if not we'll see he actually might have a chance to come down with this. So Mike Evans, he actually, I should, I don't think I threw, I should have thrown a back shoulder pass. I'm not, I don't, I don't know how to do that though in this game. I'm not going to lie to you. So let's just, uh, let's see if we can get Godwin up in the middle, maybe, or even Fournette. Uh, let's just go Fournette and that's going to be holding. So we're going to come back on Unfor That's holding on defense right oh now it's holding on defense and of course they're gonna decline and now we're on because leonard fournette does not hang on to a damn football okay it's the most crucial time of the game you run into a pile and you drop the football i'm done thank you guys for watching this is crushables i'm saying peace thank you guys so much for watching make sure you click here to watch another video that i know you'll love